Hey there. Welcome back to day 19 of life according to Yobo. Woo, not just life, but baby, the best life. No mess, no stress, no BS. You're going to like living this kind of life. You ought to like it already. Thank God for the best life. Woo, thank God for the Clark sisters giving us our intro song. Mm. The best life. Some of y'all didn't even think it was possible. Yes, it is. It's not too late to get your book at yoboproductions.com or amazon.com or pull up a chair. Come on, let's learn some more today. Day 19 of the journey. We ain't turning around now. Oh, no. Ooh, ooh. Uh-oh. I spoke too soon. Some of y'all may want to turn. Go on. You may want to get up right now. Those who have the book, I already know. They didn't tune in to today. Because, honey, if you would have caught me about 10 years ago, mm-mm. No, no. This will be a good Sunday to miss church. Day 19's lesson, y'all ain't going to like it. You just going to have to trust me. Please, trust me. You know, sometimes your mama would tell you some things and you think, mama don't know what she's talking about. She don't know. She just old. Oh, okay. But then, you got a couple years on you, got some experience on you, and you think, dang, mama sure used to tell me. Mm-hmm. This is one of those, all I want you to do is just listen. Don't try to understand. Just listen. One of these th one of these days you'll say, I remember your bow show did say, mm -hmm, what'd she say? She said, forgive and then forget. I just said two of the F words. Forgive and forget. You may as well stand up at church and cuss now. You may as well say the real F. Drop an F bomb in church. Mm-hmm. People will believe that quicker than they will believe this one, forgive and forget. Now, if you're talking about Jesus forgiving them, they cool on that. But forgiving and forgetting what somebody else did, oh, psh, honey, please. <sighs> you better go somewhere with all that. Well, let me tell you my little story. Put my little hair back so you can see. I want you to see in my eyes because the eyes reveal the real us. You're going to see how I'm telling the truth right here. And the, sun, the more I look in this iPhone, the more I see my mama. What was she doing here? She, just the, she was the sweetest thing. Uh, for years, I thought forgiveness meant allowing the person who done me wrong to get away with murder. Boy, was I wrong. That's what I really thought. I thought forgiveness meant, wait a minute, you telling me to let them get away? You telling me not to be mad at them anymore for what they did? Oh, no, no, no. I can't do that, especially when they really did do what they did. But that was the wrong interpretation. The act of forgiveness empowers me to emotionally detach myself from unpleasant memories instead of mentally rewinding, replaying, and reliving the painful event over and over and over again. That's what causes depression. You're thinking about something? Let me tell you, okay, now y'all know I compare everything to church and I compare everything to food, okay? Yesterday, I thought about some Ramona's burritos. Mm, even right now, my mouth is watering. I can t just the thought of the Ramona's burritos. Ooh, wee. Mm, I am salivating as I'm talking. I can't think about a Ramona's burrito. Mm. Well, since I'm in Houston and Ramona's is in Southern California, I had to do the next best thing. I went in the kitchen and made myself some cheese enchiladas, rice and beans, and they showed, ooh, they was good. good. Mm. And then I had some for breakfast this morning, because, you know, Mexican food, it always tastes better the next day. Italian food, too, by the way. So, as I think about the Ramona's food, all of a sudden, 
my body instantly connected. I mean, when I just said Ramona's, I just, I just salivated again. Oh, I can't wait to get home next month to get me a Ramona's burrito. And then as I thought about the burrito, notice what I said I did. I went in the kitchen and made myself some. I acted on the thought. Now, when you're mad at someone, you got all that bitterness and anger on the inside of you. When you think about it, same thing happens in your mind. You flash right on back. See, when I thought about Ramona's, I'm instantly inside the store looking at all the food. See, give me some of that. 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 I can just see it all. I can imagine it all. I'm salivating again. Mm. And when you think back on one of those painful events, just like that, you're taken right back to that same moment in time. And you relive the event all over again. Just as angry as you were then, that's how angry you become and just the thought of it, it works the same. This mind worked the same way, whether in the positive or whether in the negative. When it comes to forgiveness, you got to let that go. I'm going to give you another example. I'm really going to make it plain, okay? Y'all ever been with somebody who know how to make it do what it do? Mm. And you think on them? Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. And you're like, Lord have mercy. Mm, 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 mm. I know he's incarcerated for the next 20 years, but that brother right there, mm, 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 that brother right there had it going up. You ever think about it? And you think about it a little bit too much? And you have to catch yourself and reel yourself back in? That's how powerful thoughts are. But see, with me, I ain't think about old boy. I'm thinking about somebody that cooked a good meal. I'm thinking about Aunt Roy. How good she can make a peach cobbler. Woo, -hoo -hoo. Woo, she can make a peach cobbler. She would use the half peaches in hers. Woo, she been dead 20 years. <laughs> Just like you're thinking about old boy that can make it do what it do. Mm. I'm thinking about Aunt Roy. She can make a peach cobbler do what it do. Thoughts are powerful. And when you add anger to it, you got to forgive and then forget because you ain't hurting nobody but yourself. Oh, the act, let me read this again. The act of forgiveness will empower you. It gives you the power to emotionally detach yourself from that unpleasant memory. And then you no longer have to continue to mentally rewind. Just play the tape back. Hit the replay button, and there you are reliving the event all over again. I ain't trying to minimize nothing you've been through. I can't change your past. I'm trying to help out the future. And yet, some of us have been through some horrible experiences. Baby, you got to forgive, and you got to forget. You're not letting them off the hook. You're letting yourself off the hook. I know I'm repeating myself, but this is one that's really difficult to understand. Let me keep going more. Another reason why you must forgive. Got to forgive. Why? Because 99.9 .9 times out of 100, the person who done us wrong ain't a bit more thinking about you than they are the man in the moon. They ain't thinking about you. Even if they did do you wrong. Even if they did steal your money. Even if they did molest you. Even if they did lie on you. Even if they did steal your car. They, they lying on somebody else now. They stealing from somebody else. They molesting somebody else. They just doing what they do. That's just what they do. And they ain't thinking about you. They trying to find them another victim. Who was dumb enough to, who's dumb enough to fall for it. And just thank God that that ain't you no more. If they did do it, Lord, I thank you that I'm not in that situation. Some people don't know how to get out of a bad situation. They don't know. They don't know how to leave an abusive marriage. They don't know how to leave a man that's molesting their child. They don't know, they don't know how to leave a church with a crazy pastor. They don't know. They don't know how to put their kids out. They don't know. They don't know how to stay out the refrigerator like me. Mm. Got to 
forgive. Because the people ain't thinking about you. I know this is true because a woman was mad at me. I mean, she was mad at me. And told her story to anyone who would listen. How do I know? Because they would call me and tell me the story. I was shocked. I thought, huh? Are you serious? Sister Watermelon said, what? About me? I was shocked because she was one of my favorite. Pe she was one of my favorite people. She was, I promise you, she was one of my favorite people. But honey, she was hot. Thank God she told her story to somebody with some sense. Somebody who didn't pick up the phone and say, Yolanda, Sister Watermelon mad at you. No, no, no. Let me tell you what this woman did. She brought us together. Oh, Sister Watermelon, she had her say, she called me. She's like, hey, can you meet me on such and such day at such and such place? I said, well, sure, okay. And I rolled up there and I'm like, okay, I wonder what Sister Watermelon doing here. And I walked in the room and there sat her and Sister Watermelon. And you know what? She gave this person the opportunity to confront me. Do you know Sister Watermelon would not make the same accusations to my face? Oh, same stuff she was running around telling everybody about me? Everything she said. When I sat right there, all she had to do was turn around. Because she remember, we're talking about forgiveness. She mad at me. I ain't had a clue the woman was upset with me. Now she got her opportunity to get it all out. And all of a sudden, she's speechless. Mm. From that situation, I discovered two truths about people who refuse to forgive. And if you're one of those people who refuse to forgive, I'm about to tell you two. You know what the Bible say? The truth is going to make you free. This next statement right here is going to make you mad or it's going to make you free. If you accept it as truth, who you're going to experience free. I know what I'm talking about. Shh. I know what I'm talking about. Because I had to forgive. I discovered two truths about people who refuse to forgive. Number one, they either have nothing better to talk about. Or, number two, they just want to be mad. <laughs> That's the truth. And that's life according to Yobo. Day 19, forgive and forget. When I tell you I was mad at somebody, I would, ooh, if I would have had a gun, I would be incarcerated right now. That's just how mad I was. I was so upset. I was so angry. That bitterness and that anger festered in my body. Do you know my lips turn black? I swear on a stack of Bibles. My lips turn back black. I had pain in my stomach. I had pain in my sides. I had pain in my back. And I'm telling you, another reason why people like they don't call me for prayer. Don't call me for prayer. Don't call. Now, if you got a baby going into surgery, call me. But you call me, girl, I just need you to pray for me. Ooh, I got this bad headache. I can't get rid of it. Ooh, I got this pain in my shoulder. Then it jumped from this shoulder to that shoulder. Then in my knee to here. You know, first thing I'm going to ask, uh, is there somebody you mad at? Is there something that you need to let go? Because unforgiveness will lodge in this body. Woo! Have you thinking something is seriously wrong with you. And all it is is you just need to forgive and forget. I didn't say you had to trust them. I didn't say you had to roll with them. I didn't say you had to deal with them. You forgive. And when you truly forgive, you forget all about it. I went through something with somebody. They sent me a text. Happy New Year. I replied back, thank you. They responded. You could have at least said you too. I was like, oh, my bad. <laughs> you know, it didn't even occur to me. And this is somebody I used to, mm, I had to forget. I had to forget. Oh, I done moved on. It didn't even occur to me to say Happy New Year. I ain't mad. I've just forgiven them. 